Welcome to part two of my declutter video where I go through my whole fragrance collection and divide them by category and go through each fragrance. If you didn't watch part one, I will leave it linked down below and in the eye up here. And in today's video, we are going to talk about mostly fresh and floral fragrances. I am filming the introduction today, the day I will upload the video. So I am going also to insert a part at the end of the video where I talk about the fragrances that I put in the maybe pile. So which one I decided to keep and which I don't. And before beginning with the video, I just want to say something about the fragrances that I am going to sell because I have already so many questions on part one on Instagram and also on YouTube from people who want to buy this fragrance. This declutter was filmed quite a while ago, like two months ago or maybe more. So a lot of fragrances I already sold. And also Italy is one of the most strict countries when it comes to shipping perfumes so if you are from the US or any part outside Europe it will be extremely expensive to ship them and also quite difficult to be honest so I am so sorry for all my lovely subscribers to ask me uh, it's just not possible and with that out of the way let's start the video peony fragrances so the first one is one of my favorite peony fragrances and one actually of my favorite Armani Pervase. This is Bevoin Suzu. I'm absolutely keeping this one. I love it. This, however, I am actually going to declutter. I like it, but I don't need so many peony fragrances. So although this is quite unique to my collection because it has a mirable note with the peony, which not a lot of fragrances have. I am going to part ways with this one. Next one is a Blooming Bouquet from Miss Dior. This is the old formulation or the old packaging. I absolutely love this fragrance, going to keep it, although the bad performance have already also a backup bottle of it. This one was a favorite of mine for the longest time. So it was like a contender to Pimoin Suzu, but I am a little bit bothered now by the pink pepper, although this is what I liked about it. And since it's a Maison Lancome, I am going to keep it, although I think it will be decluttered very soon, because again, I want to do a buying guide on Maison Lancome. This one, oh, I don't know. It's again, rose and peony, and I definitely smell also pink pepper. Also, I think this one will be decluttered, unfortunately. I don't know what is going on with Maison Lancome. They had really unique, beautiful fragrances, and now it's like one boring release after another. And this is not an exception. It's a boring fragrance. It's nice, but nothing extraordinary. I bought it because for a while I was so obsessed with Maison Lancome and I wanted every single fragrance. Now I am more careful with my purchases and trying to create my like my collection. So I think this one will be decluttered next time also. Rose fragrances. I definitely have a lot of rose fragrances. This one I talked about a lot of times. You can see the dent. It's beautiful. Although I am tempted seeing it, smelling it now too. Declutter it, I know, coming summer, I will fall head over heels uh, and will definitely use it a lot. It's a very shape shifter fragrance. When you smell it out of the bottle, it smells actually nasty on your body with the heat. It smells like a balmy rose. So, so beautiful and very, very unique. And I love the bottle. Don't try to wear this one in winter. The nasty opening will remain with you. Dolce Rose. This is a discontinued fragrance from the Dolce line from Dolce & Gabbana. This one is replaced now by Dolce Rose. I definitely prefer this one. It's more classy, let's say. The other one is a little bit more teenager. It's more girly, more fun, yes, but very, very boring in my opinion. And also, to be honest, also this one is not like something extraordinary. And I am not in love with this fragrance, but I wear this one a lot. 
So, although now seeing the fragrance, I would say I am going to declutter it. I am sure coming summer I will use it a lot, so I'm going to keep it. Keeping, of course, the Fleur Mask from Narciso Rodriguez. This is a bubble gummy rose in a way, was mixed with the musk from Narciso. If like Narciso can make a bubblegum rose, it will be this one. So it's not like very sweet. For Narciso Rodriguez, this is a bubblegum rose. And I love Narciso Rodriguez and also love this one. So I'm going to keep also this. Now this one I absolutely love. You can see from the dent. I, want to, I wanted to use it as this autumn, but I don't know. What? Well, now it's working. Uh, uh. Okay, now I am shocked. I don't know what happened because the spray refused to work. And now suddenly it's working? What? Anyway, <laughs> I'm happy it's working now because I was afraid that I'm going to lose this bottle. This is one of my favorite rose fragrances. Very dark gothic rose with berries, with woody notes. It's like a more dark gothic version of Meliora and uh, Queer and um, Lalique Amethyst. I have actually a comparison between the three. Again, check the description down below. Now, I am going to shock you all because I am going to declutter a memo fragrance. Yes, I am going to declutter French leather. Why? Because I don't know what happens. This is, was one of the most elegant beautiful fragrances I considered from Memo and I don't know what happened I am not wearing it and I don't like it anymore I don't hate it but I don't like it and for such an expensive fragrance to be in my collection and I don't wear it and I don't even like it so it's not like Shams Oud where I sniff it all the time no I I don't know I don't know what to tell you because still this is one of the most elegant fragrances what is happening to me but yeah the new me doesn't like this fragrance anymore so i'm going to declutter it and i can't even imagine what i'm saying next is atelier cologne a rose anonymes no this one is not discontinued it's the x-ray that is discontinued an oud rose combination fragrance that is quite nice not my favorite i want to do a comparison video between this one and other very similar fragrances like rose d'arabie from armani Privé and was it Wood Silk Mood or Satin Mood, I don't remember now. So I want to do the comparison video and uh, then I will declutter this one. So let's talk about this discontinued gem. Roses Berberanza from Maison Lancor. One of the most unique rose fragrances I've ever smelled. There is nothing like it because this is so sophisticated. I doubt that any other fragrance will have this transition, this complexity, the performance, everything. This is very, very long lasting and quite projecting. Uh, I wouldn't say it's as projecting like the other oud fragrances from Maison Lancome, but it's extremely strong and is not everybody's cup of tea. This is rose mixed with some boozy notes with pistachio and it's so difficult to describe it and I love it. And although I don't wear it a lot, I am definitely keeping this fragrance. Not because I, I use it only to sniff. I actually use it, but I use only one spray. As you can see, it's almost full, but I actually use it. Not a lot, but I do. So this is a keeper for sure. Next is my beloved Rose Omeyad from Atelier, Co Do De uh, sorry, Atelier Des Ors. My favorite rose wood combination. So, so beautiful. And also a beautiful introduction into this combination because this is a fragrance where the oud is not overpowering. It's more of a backbone to the rose and the rose here is a beautiful Middle Eastern rose, Damask rose, and it's so, so stunning. It's sweet, but 
but too much it has oud but not too much if you want an oriental rose look no further this is the best in my opinion and one of the best introduction into oud another oud rose combination is miller harris scherzo now i am going to shock you all because this fragrance i raved a lot about was on my wish list for such a long time. I got it last year. Well, it's almost a year now, my collection, and I did use it. You may say, where is the dent? Actually, I did use it because I don't spray a lot of this fragrance. It's quite powerful. And I decided to declutter this one. It's the same like French leather. It's a beautiful fragrance, but I don't know, I changed. I don't like it anymore. And I was like, trying to explain myself and then I thought I don't need if I don't like something I don't like it although it's a beautiful scent it's going to go bye bye but I still would recommend it by the way let's talk about this one this needs to be decluttered however I am going to keep it for the same reason I'm going to keep anything from Maison Lancome just to review it this is just too much it's rose and oud and praline Oh my god, too much praline here, too much, just too much, I can't bear it. I tried to convince myself and yes, it's not working. So this one is going again to be decluttered after the video. Since we talked about Oud Rose combination, let's talk about more Oud fragrances. <laughs> this one, oh my god, this was quite a fail for me. This is Oud Ambrosie. And this is oud with honey. Again, too much honey. <laughs> because I know now why they discontinued this one. So I'm not going to repeat myself. I don't like it, but I'm going to keep it for the video. Ah, uh, changing to something that I absolutely adore and I can't get enough. The Bewitching Yasmin from Penhelegans. Ah, uh, I love this one so much. And this one is oud and jasmine. Quite a unique combination, such a bewitching, captivating, slightly sexy fragrance. This is one of my favorite fragrances at the moment. I am obsessed with it and I think I am not going to change my mind about it. Or maybe I shouldn't say that, but at least this is what it seems for now. I just adore this ring, so beautiful. Let's get to Jasmine. And this will be definitely my like most difficult category to go through because Jasmine is one of my favorite like notes and fragrances. It was my favorite one. <laughs> you can see there is some change in me. It's not anymore, but still I love the note. So let's start with these. This is the Wanderlust from Michael Kors. I love all of them. I am going to keep all three uh, flankers. We'll definitely keep also Pure Poison, one of the most beautiful jasmine fragrances ever made. We'll also definitely keep a jasmine sandbag and marigold. For me, a uh, winter jasmine talked about it in my winter florals. Also this one, Vera Malachit, although I don't use it as much as I did before, I still really like it and will keep it. Oh my god, it's really difficult. Now I don't, I have to declutter something. So, okay, I am going to declutter the beloved Roberto Cavalli Paradiso. Just because I prefer Azzurro to the original one. Both of these are very beautiful, affordable jasmine fragrances. And as usual with Roberto Cavalli, they smell definitely more expensive than what they actually cost. Uh, I think both of them have cypress. And so they have this quite unique woody base to the fragrance. Very, very beautiful and unique jasmine. But I prefer the Azzurro, it's fresher, it's lighter. So keeping this one and we'll declutter the original Paradiso. Now let's get to this one, Jasmine des Anges. I used to love this fragrance and the last time I wore it, I was saying to myself, why did I like this fragrance so much? What happened? It's too much apricot for me. 
let's smell it again you know what now i am smelling i'm saying are you crazy there is not so many apricot in it okay i will put this one with irresistible and the maybe bin so we'll spray it the coming days and then decide if i want to keep it or not shockingly no i am not going to declutter but shockingly i don't i don't wear just mass marzipan anymore why let's smell it no idea because i like it no i am not going to declutter it i'm not even going to put it in the maybe bin because this was like a lifer for me for such a long time so maybe i am tired of the smell i don't know i did not use it as much to be tired of so i will keep it but i am keeping an eye on this one so if i will use it if i don't and we'll decide next time this is so shocking now is this baby here this was never like my favorite jasmine but it's still unique enough to keep it jasmine kuzamuno is a very light fresh fragrance it's so elegantly light in a good way so i really like it it's not a love for me but i like it and it's unique enough to keep it also again it's not a fragrance that i reach for a lot of times more floral fragrances i have to sit down because i'm really really tired since we talked about just makuzamuno let's start with this one this is Mad uh, mademoiselle azzaro l'obre floral so beautiful so affordable very happy fragrance even if the smell is very girly i like it it's so light and fresh and happy i still like it although last year i didn't use it enough to keep it i still enjoy the scent so i am keeping it definitely keeping cartier cara very underrated gem and as this is a unique fragrance because it has a combination of not your typical florals so it, i think it has narcissus hyacinths and all these like almost wildflowers in a way i love it it's so light and fresh and spring like it's so beautiful so i love it and i will definitely keep this one definitely will keep my chanel chance au tendre of course as this is like i mean everybody knows about this fragrance it's so beautiful uh, it's it's the same like category like blooming bouquet in the sense these are like light fresh florals that you can't go wrong with that a lot of people love so although it's an eau de toilette and it doesn't like have like the best performance i still love it and i'm not going to declutter next another very unique floral is fleur du portofino from tom ford very unique fresh floral fragrance mm, yeah because it has some like particular notes that a lot of other fragrances don't have uh, not my favorite florals but still such a unique scent that i love actually to wear on vacation so i am keeping this one now this one i'm a little bit on the fence about this is chloe natural this is a mimosa fragrance rose and mimosa and i really enjoy actually this fragrance i have a review on it but i am not wearing it enough and seeing the dent i have i don't have a lot left so maybe i should finish it no you know what when i say i am going to finish a fragrance at the end i don't wear it so no i think i will not sell this one because like really how much is left really not much so i am going to gift this fragrance if i find someone who wants it i will gift it to them next is camellia from l'ervolario very affordable again fragrance and i love to wear this one after the shower during winter so it's a little bit of a pampering experience with this one because i have the whole set so the shower gel the cream everything so it's quite aesthetically pleasing to put them on a tray when i am pampering myself so it's not a fragrance that i wear going out or in a lot of occasions but still i enjoy it enough it's very affordable so i am keeping it let's get to one of my best discoveries of last year 
nectarine blossom and honey oh my god this is so so beautiful i absolutely fell in love with this fragrance last year and i finished a decant of it and i can't wait to wear it it's so beautiful and fresh and happy and uplifting it's the most happy fragrance i have in my collection it's nectarine so it has this fresh nectarine smell it's light and airy like all drew malone fragrances and i absolutely love it this one is a lifer for me it's staying for sure while this baby here is going to be decluttered now this is the style of jo malone that i don't like this is poppy and barley and it smells very natural but not in a good way <laughs> So, yeah, it's a unique scent. And honestly, I would not recommend this for you. It's, this is going to be decluttered. It was a blind buy, by the way. More floral fragrances. So, let's start from here. Amouage Honor. Uh, this is a gardenia fragrance. And again, not a fragrance that I wear a lot of, but still, I love it. And it was for a while in my top 10 in my fragrance collection not anymore but still it's a fragrance that i love let's talk about this this is lila cloth and i absolutely love this one although i know i am not going to wear it a lot because it's it's the scent profile that I don't wear a lot of, but still, I love it. Let's get to this discontinued fragrance, Iris Nobile. Very, very hard to find. And this one, I think, will be decluttered next time. I'm not wearing it as much as I should for such a beautiful scent. It's a little bit vintagey, and uh, I have to be in the mood to wear it. So I am keeping it until I do my buying guide on the Nobile line from Aqua di Parma, and then declutter this one. Memo Siwa. Of course I'm not decluttering this one. This is not only one of my favorite Memo fragrances, but and it's also now linked to my beautiful memories in the Oasis of Siwa. I went, actually not last year, this year because it was after new year to the oasis of siwa in egypt and it was the experience and i had this one with me i wore it all the time and you can see it's quite battered because i had it in my purse not a great idea but still it made it through the desert with me and a lot of my other adventures that i had there if i did decide to post the vlogs that i did there i will leave it a link down below and it's quite an unique narcissus scent very very beautiful now let's get to prada and i have here lapsulu the intense and the original to be honest, my least favorite is the original one. This is more on the tuberose side. This is why for me, this is not like my favorite one. This is more yellow flowers, so more frangipani and ylang-ylang. This is quite unique. So it's kind of an ambery take on the original one and more dark in a way. Very, very unique. Don't like it in the opening, but in the dry down, it's beautiful, stunning. I'm keeping all three of these, although I should declutter one of them. Okay, let me smell them and then decide. No, I just can't. I'm so sorry. I can't declutter any of these. I love them all. So I am keeping them all. And let's talk about these cheap perfumes. So greet your... This is Nomad Eau de Parfum. This is the Eau de Toilette. I used to have all the Nomad line. Now I am left with these two. And honestly, I should declutter one of them. Which one? I can't believe it, but I am going to declutter the Eau de Parfum. Because it's not the fragrance I grab when it's the right time for it. So autumn and so. I just don't grab this one. So I am keeping, however, the Odo Toilette. And of course, keeping Greed Dior, although I don't wear it at all. It has been a year since I last wore that fragrance. But still, I can't 
part ways with it not yet it's an elegant fragrance so keeping both of them we almost made it so we have now all what i would call dead sense so i don't have to think a lot going to declutter this one this is the new flanker of a dropped easy easy miyaki and they added some like rain note and some synthetic thing and it's a mess again i said i am going to finish it before moving to this one but why why i have so many fragrances why should i do that uh, this is going to be decluttered and i am keeping the original one which is my favorite this is my favorite bed scent you see the dent speaks for itself it's a lilac fragrance very powdery and feminine and it's like a cloud and comfy and cozy i just love it love 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 this fragrance not going to declutter it for sure now this one is another story i am not sure about this fragrance to be honest should i keep it should i declutter it's not like i hate it but it's not like i absolutely love it and it's too expensive to be used as a bed scent okay i am putting this one also in the maybe pile let's move to tea sets and there is one missing actually from atelier cologne it's in my gym bag okay i am too lazy to go and grab it but since it's in my gym bag you know that i like it let's start with this one tiazura discontinued phrase from aqua allegoria hate it hate it hate it hate it don't like this one at all declutter for sure then definitely keeping fleur de thé from Karl Lagerfeld and I, the thing is I can't like explain why I like it so much it's quite affordable but so fresh and beautiful in a way I am definitely keeping this one I used to use this one as an after shower scent but now I have other scents that I prefer to this one so although it's like really like I don't know, maybe 20 ml that is remaining here. I will, however, take it with me to Egypt and just finish it there. Next, Folie d'été from L'Herbolarium. I'm on the fence about this one. It's too masculine. I love so much the representation of it and it fits so beautifully in my bathroom. So I used to use it like the same like Camellia. When I have the whole set on a tray and I want to pamper, but I discovered that I enjoy this one more in the air, so as like a freshener, air freshener. Uh, however, it's a beautiful scent. Yes, I'm going to declutter this one. Next, Winter Palace from Memo, and I am going to shock you all. No, not going to declutter this one, but it will be on a test the coming day so i would practically put this one on a maybe pile because i don't wear it enough and i am not sure am i still in love with this fragrance or do i just want to like sniff it out of the bottle so i am keeping it in the maybe pile but i think i'm not going to declutter it honestly citrusy fragrances so we have lime lemon mandarin bergamot orange and grapefruit so this is one of my favorite categories so i don't think that i'm going to declutter a lot so let's start with this one this is orange sanguine from atelier Cologne. and also i don't wear it as much as before still i love the scent very very authentic blood orange fragrance so i'm keeping it orange solea from guerlain also keeping this one i i told you it's not a category that you will find a lot of stuff to declutter also keeping arancia di capri this is my favorite orange fragrance for sure not going to let go of that fragrance in any way now vetiver pamplemousse you can see the dent as you can see this is very loved but again last year i maybe used it once 
or maybe twice. So I'm not sure about this fragrance, so I am going to put it in the maybe pile. And it's a shocker because this was one of my absolute favorite fragrances. Let's get to the next one. Under the Lemon Trees from Maison Marcella. And honestly, I don't remember how I feel about this fragrance. I use it so little that I actually don't know. Let me spray it. Yes, now I remembered this scent. Uh, yes, I'm going to keep this one. Will definitely declutter this. Lime, basil and mandarin. So, it's like... The notes are quite similar to mandarin basilic, but a word of difference. Like, really. This is just too aromatic for me. I don't know how to explain it. I sometimes enjoy it and sometimes I don't. And it's not worth it for a Jumelon. So, and it's not worth it because I have something better. Definitely keeping Mandarin Basilic. I mean, you know the obsession I have with this fragrance. It's one of my favorite ones. So I am not going to declutter this one under any circumstances. Bergamot, another note that I love. Definitely keeping this one. This is the Magnifying Bergamot. Kind of an essence from this line to modify your fragrance. I use it on its own. Definitely not worth that price tag. <laughs> we'll be honest, but I love it so much, I don't care. This one, not my absolute favorite. Uh, and I have on my wish list a full bottle of Bergamot Calabria from Gehenna. So, I don't know. I will keep uh, this one because I want to do a dedicated video on Bergamot fragrances. But once I did that one, I think... I will declutter this one. Also, it's very nice, but I have like, yeah, I love the one from Bulgari more and also the one from uh, Aqua di Parma. Uh, and also I love more the one from Aqua Ligoria. Don't know if I prefer to this one or not. Okay, let's wait for the Bergamot for a video and then see. I forgot to include my beloved Mirtu di Panarea from Aqua di Parma. This is not a citrusy fragrance, although yes, it has citrus. But it's more on the aromatic side, it has myrtle as a main note. So, so beautiful. You <laughs> saw in my haul, I have now the limited edition bottle that is so beautiful uh, as a backup bottle. So, yeah, you know how much I love this one. I decided to put the rest of freshies in one category. And I don't think again that I'm going to declutter any of these, keeping definitely these two. Love Cedar Atlas and also Love Osmantis is my favorite fresh fragrance. Like every day, I always have a travel size in my purse. I never go out without it. It's my favorite fresh fragrance of all time. Of course, keeping my Chanel au Fresh, Chants au Fresh, and also uh, Versace Versants, very similar fragrances. I have actually a comparison between them, which I will upload when it's summer. So keeping these one of the most beautiful fresh fragrances. Also keeping the Eau Vive. This is beyond beautiful. Like the Eau Fresh, both are very elegant. Fresh and elegant. How can you combine these two? It's not like a lot of fragrances can combine fresh fragrances with elegance, but Chanel managed to do it. So keeping also this one. Keeping Igea Blossom from Erin. <laughs> this was quite... A recent purchase was actually by mistake because I wanted the Mediterranean honeysuckle. But anyway, I also like this one. Don't know if I need like a 100 ml of it, but yeah, it's still new and I didn't wear it because I mean it's a summer fragrance. So I'm keeping this one. Definitely keeping Fico di Amalfi from Aqua di Parma. For sure, for sure. One, this is my favorite fig fragrance. I am, however, decluttering Lo Medial Cologne. Although it's unisex, but as you can see, with all these freshies, I don't have a place for this one. So it's better to be in a home where it is more appreciated. So decluttering this one. Let's get to these two molecular fragrances. Um, not a perfume super dose. It's more about Ambroxan and Moscow Mule, which is almost identical, but more of a citrusy, slightly woozy touch. Love them both. Not going to repurchase Moscow Mule, but definitely not a perfume super dose I would repurchase forever. So both of these are 
keepers dolce and gabbana light blue of course keeping both of my favorite flankers forever that is an orange blossom version and the intense of course of course also this one is one of my oldest fragrances in my collection so you can see it survived a lot of the clutters and it's still going strong speaking about light blue this is the flanker sun or like a frangipani version love also this one definitely keeping it and let's enter the category of tropical fragrances i am starting with frangipani so we talked about this one next lodi easy shades of or shade of sunrise discontinued flanker of lodi easy keeping definitely this one you can see the dent like it love it not going to declutter it oh of course Cassili, another frangipani fragrance but very very heavy on the frangipani it's quite sweet honestly don't wear it a lot but still i really like it maybe because it's very sweet so it's not like i tend to gravitate to sweet fragrances a lot next hibiscus palm from erin oh my god my favorite tropical fragrance i would say so definitely keeping this one it's so beautiful and also very tropical and i struggle a little bit with tropical fragrances to be honest i adore it have a full review on it and actually also a tropical fragrance video check the description next a discontinued flanker by now from j'adore this is joy and this is a salty version of j'adore don't know about you but i love j'adore dna so when it's mixed with some salt so a little bit of a beachy summery vibe i am all in so keeping this one idol aura my favorite idol this is um salted vanilla rose musky scent and although the notes are more summer like i tend to use this one all year round except of summer because it's just too much you know me in summer i want my freshies i can't tolerate anything else so yeah this is definitely a fragrance that i would consider if you love salty vanilla speaking about salty vanillas another one this is vanilla vibes from julie tesco i don't wear this fragrance a lot but again it survives every declutter when i smell it i love it i don't wear it enough yes but i just can't i love it i love the scent profile i don't wear it a lot maybe because this scent profile is not something i gravitate a lot to but i still love the fragrance and i love the bottle and everything about it very simplistic i know but i just love it and as are like I wouldn't say salty vanilla because this is quite unique it's vanilla it's salt but also mixed with some incense and some mate if i'm not mistaken very very unique scent set since i bought i wore only twice does that mean that i am going to declutter this one absolutely not i will tell you what is it with this fragrance it's a scent profile again that i don't have a lot of occasions to wear it for and i have nothing like it in my collection so keeping this one i don't know how i feel about this this is bulgari aqua divina i used to love this fragrance i have a backup bottle this is how much i loved it but since i found some alternatives from l'herbolario and i think there was another Brand, but I definitely would consider Lerbolario because it's more affordable. So I did not use this fragrance as much as I did when I first bought it. It is discontinued and it's hard to find. I will, okay, I will put this one in the maybe pile and then decide. Wood sage and sea salt. Finally, I am decluttering this one. I, again, like lime, basil, and mandarin, sometimes I like it and sometimes i don't like it so it's not worth it i'm decluttering this one definitely keeping eden rock i know this fragrance is really hated by a lot like not hated but a lot of people didn't like this one i love it since like right from the start i loved this fragrance it's a jasmine mixed with some like 
oceanic um, beachy vibe so beautiful have a full review on it and although the performance is not great i still am keeping this one because it's beautiful soleil blanc from tom ford do i have to have both of these i don't think so let's smell it no i don't need both but I am not sure if I want to declutter Lo de Soleil Blanc. So I will put this one in my baby pile. While this one I will definitely keep. So I finally finished everything. Now I will show you what I kept and what I ended up decluttering. So I had 146 fragrances and I am left now with 110. I decluttered 29 fragrances not bad i expected more not bad and i am left with seven that are on a maybe you know what i can't help myself 29 is not a number <laughs> i like around the number so i have to choose one fragrance to declutter and just make up my mind about from this pile right here so i'm going to declutter this one you may say I am crazy, but I just am um, like that. I want a round number. And that one, the Bulgari Aqua Divina, was the one that most probably I would have decluttered anyway at the end. So we have 110 fragrances in my collection, 30 are gone, and 6 are on a maybe. And looking at the fragrances that I decluttered, I'm a little bit shocked because some of these fragrances really <laughs> i can't believe that i'm decluttering them like french leather like femini du bois oh my god this one this is the biggest shock of all scared so um also uh, tom ford de noir so although it's not like my biggest declutter ever i have one video where i decluttered over 50 fragrances that was crazy Anyway, I decluttered a lot of niche fragrances and that says a lot. Uh, then here I have all the fragrances that I am keeping and I organized them as I usually do by brand. And I started as usual with price tag, so with niche. So I have two rows of niche now. And that means that I am accumulating more and more of niche fragrances. So I have still my two Parfum de Mali, one Inicio, my two Atelier Victor, my two Van Hannigans, one Memos, one Zerjof Peliales, and a lot of Aqua di Parma, a lot of Atelier Cologne, three Juliette Asgan, Joe Malone I am left only with two I decluttered, oh my god, see, three Joe Malone fragrances, one Nobili Mille Novecento and to homage. And honestly, the Nobile Mille Novecento Quarantadue will probably be a brand that I will have a lot of fragrances of in the future as I am preparing a buying guide on the brand. Sorry, I am filming on my phone, so it's a little bit shaky. Then we have the private collections here. So let's start with Armani Privé. And yes, this is by far the biggest collection of one brand that I have. Then Maison Lancome, I have at the end the only, the like regular Lancome that I have, Idol Aura. Then I have from Tom Ford, I would say four fragrances, although the fourth one is a travel size. And also from the other collection from Tom Ford, we have Noir Extreme. And Tom Ford is one of the brands that I am discovering more and more of. But honestly, with the price hike recently, I am not sure. I am not sure that I am going to continue because it's outrageous how Tom Ford fragrances are expensive. Uh, then we have, oh my god, only three from La Collection Privée from Christian Dior. I used to have a lot. How many did I declutter this time? one how come ah yes 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 i have one on the like the maybe pile one is decluttered and one i decluttered before so this is why okay then i have the regular line of dior dior is one of my like my brands i love dior 
we have like the semi niche semi private collection fragrances um so aaron which is not niche but the price tag and the whole aesthetic is very niche like so aaron uh, louis vuitton louis rouge the two kayali that i have and also the magnifying bergamot from Bulgari. moving to narciso rodriguez again my collection is now really reduced this is the brand that i used to have so many of if you saw my like my buying guide you will know how many fragrances i had next is chanel and yes nothing of chanel i would say will be decluttered soon at all these are lifers for me of course, La Femme Prada and also Michael Kors Wanderlust. Then I have Guerla. I have only three fragrances. Really? Shocking. Anyway, then we have Dolce & Gabbana. I have only four. And then I have Valentino too. Then I have a lot of fragrances from brands that I have only one fragrance of. One Jean Boutier. One Balenciaga, I don't think that Balenciaga does even a lot of fragrances, to be sure. Victor and Rolf, Burberry, Cartier, Chloe, Maison Margiela, Gucci, Easy Miyake. Oh, I have two actually from Easy Miyake. And Roberto Cavalli. So here's the other Easy Miyake. Um, Azzaro. Versace. And then affordable fragrances. So I have two from L'Herbulario, Meharis and Camellia. One from Karl Lagerfred, one from Desigual, and one from Mercedes Benz. And these are the maybe fragrances that I am going to see if I am going to keep next days. By the time I will upload the video, I will definitely have an idea which one of these, like the maybe fragrances, I will keep or the clutter. Most probably I will keep, like my expectations will be to keep three and maybe declutter other three. I don't know, like this declutter didn't like work as I expected. I expected to declutter a lot and I didn't. Uh, so maybe like working by category wasn't as revealing as I thought. So maybe I will apply another idea or strategy next time. Yeah, that would be fun. Every time I declutter, I apply a new idea or strategy and then I see what really worked. Hi, me again to tell you about all my maybe fragrances. Let's start with the one that was quite easy as a decision to make and it's Winter Palace from Memo. I kept it. I wore it only once and I said, are you crazy <laughs> to declutter this fragrance? This is like... A beautiful scent so I am definitely keeping it and I am putting it now front and center so I can see it and actually wear it next is just my design also decided to keep this one this is just an amazing jasmine fragrance I don't know what happened I don't smell this like overdose of apricot anymore so yeah keeping this fragrance for sure next is j'adore l'eau now I am still on the fence about this one I don't think that I will declutter it also because it's quite difficult to sell since it's like no I can see the level but I don't know it will be difficult to sell this fragrance anyway and it's too expensive for what I am using it for this is my problem not the scent itself and unfortunately it's quite a light not very long lasting fragrance so mm, so I don't use it like a daily scent. It's mostly for me a bad scent and it's definitely too expensive for that. So I am still on the fence about this one. I think I will just finish it and not repurchase this one anymore. The same goes for Givenchy Irresistible. This is the old fresh and it will remain in the maybe pile for a while because I know that this kind of scent profile I like now like early spring or even mid spring and just when the weather is a little bit hot I don't grab it anymore and for having a fragrance just for two months it's just not worth it so I am keeping it just till summer and see will I reach for it when it's hot outside or even I'm not talking like extremely hot but like more warm than now 
or not if i grab it then it will stay if not it's going to be decluttered next time decluttering tom ford low disolay blanc i just don't need both of them and i definitely prefer soli blanc i know a lot of people say that they are very similar almost identical to me they are not there are some differences and yeah since i have the soli blanc the eau de parfum I don't need this one, so I am going to declutter it. Vetiver Prompt Mousse, which I am searching for, I can find it, it must be in a purse or something. I am definitely keeping that fragrance. I've tried it and I said again to myself, no. This is one of my favorite fresh fragrances, especially in summer, so I am keeping it. Another fragrance that I changed my mind about, which is not in which was not in my maybe pile is a scandal by night it, it was like next day i said to myself no 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 <laughs> i need this fragrance and yes i don't wear it a lot because this is quite a special occasion fragrance for me but still i mean it's just one of the most sexy fragrances and it's very unique in my collection so yeah i'm keeping scandal by night now let's return to the video and tell you my final thoughts so as usual i'm going to share with you what i learned this time so it seems like my collection always remains in the same number so it's always between 95 and 110 always after declutter it does not change a lot so from all the declutters i think except the first one I always remained at this number. So it seems like a number that is working for me. I don't think a lot about numbers to be sure, to be honest. I don't care how many I have. I am more concerned that the ones that I have are fragrances that I really love or like. But I did learn this time that there are a lot of fragrances that I really, really love. Like for example, Vanilla Diorama that I just didn't use and I think that is because I didn't see it in front of my eyes so I really need a better organization of my fragrances definitely like my last time I showed you how I organized my collection that is maybe the best idea so I think I need to organize my fragrances differently so not by brand hmm I will have to think how I am going to do with that, especially that I still have not a lot of space. So I will try to organize them differently now until I finally put everything in order here. <laughs> it's, it's like ridiculous how everything looks. I am really embarrassed. So I think what I learned this time is organizing your fragrances is quite important anyway it's really late it's almost bedtime and i am really tired this took too long so i hope you liked this video and you found it helpful this was definitely a long video so if you stayed till now i am not sure that i am going to upload this video in one or two parts because this is like two hours of recording if you stayed anyway if you stayed till now thank you so much for watching and if you like this video please give it a thumb up and consider subscribing to my channel also don't forget to hit the notification bell so you will get notified when i upload any new video thanks a lot for watching and see you next time ciao